I don't know about you, but every time I hear talks about the NBA, one name comes to mind, LeBron James, the titan of the NBA. But that's a talk for another day. Today, we're going to talk about his son, LeBron James Jr., or as you may know him, Bronny. The apple clearly doesn't fall far from the tree in the James family. Still young in the basketball sport, Bronny has managed to get scholarship offers from major schools like Duke and Kentucky. But the bigger question is, is he overrated or is he actually as good as the media makes him look? Our video speaks it all. Just stay tuned up to the end to find out the answer to this puzzling question. LeBron drives in, oh my! A ferocious slam on Millsack! Did Atlanta. you see LeBron? He jumped right out of the building. He looked like Superman. Before we get to Bronny, let's take a shallow dive into LeBron James' history. Who is LeBron James? Well, you're joking, right? There isn't a soul in the world right now that doesn't know about him, the husband of Savannah Brinson. LeBron Raymond James Sr. was born on the 30th of December, 1984 in Akron, Ohio, United States. He is perhaps one of the greatest basketball players that have ever lived, if not the greatest of all time. The father to four has a record that every basketball player admires and and respects. However, he is getting old, and his fans are looking to one of his sons, Bronny James, to take over and carry his legacy. Shot clock is down to five. Nice fake by James. Oh, he stops! LeBron James puts him down in the face of James Johnson. Well, click, click, get ready for your Kodak moment. The American professional basketball player has accomplished many achievements in his career and is arguably the most decorated basketball player of all time. James's accomplishments, however, are frequently compared to Michael Jordan's achievements. Oh no, we're not going to start a debate about who's better between Michael Jordan and LeBron James. We beg to push that to another day. Just bear with us. Off the hand of LeBron, who picked up the loose ball behind the back, just like they threw it up. You he got butter to jelly. You've got to have eyes in the back of your head or a great memory to make a pass like that. LeBron James to wait for the lay-in. Playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers, Miami Heat, and Los Angeles Lakers, James is the only player in NBA history to have won the NBA championship with three franchises as final MVPs. He has competed in 10 NBA finals, including eight consecutive with the Heat and Cavaliers from 2011 through 2018. For Boston, Rozier to the basket. Oh, blocked by James. He did it again. But good hustle back, and he meets him at the summit. Some of his accomplishments include, among others, four NBA championships, four NBA's Most Valuable Player or MVP awards, and two Olympic gold medals. James holds the record for all-time playoff points, is third in all-time points, and eighth in career assists. He has been selected 13 times to the All-NBA First Team and made the All-Defensive First Team five times. He has been named All-Star 17 times, including three All-Star MVP selections. With all of these achievements, Bronny James has a lot of pressure on his performance to carry on his father's legacy. Battier oh. gets it in. Here's James on the drive for a win! James is married to one Savannah Brinson, and together they have brought into this world four wonderful children. Bronny James, however, seems to be the fan's favorite due to his exceptional skills compared to the other three. But just how good is he? Bronny, how'd dad do tonight? He did good. He did good. to make it tough on him, you know? And, uh, you know, if I can make it tough on him, then it's going to give us a great chance to win the game, and uh, tonight was an example of that. LeBron James Jr. was born on the 6th of October 2004. This makes him only one year younger than his father's career. Unlike his father, James Jr. is doing well even without an outstanding career behind his back. He has a massive following on Instagram and a lot of connections with potential sponsors. Does this mean he won't make much effort in achieving his father's success story? We'll find out soon enough. Make sure you watch this video to the very end so you don't miss out on his story. Oh, went behind the back, splitting through, it counts and a foul again. He split through two Philadelphia players behind the back with the dribble. In ESPN's June 2020 rankings, Bronny came in at 24th with DJ Wagner and Mickey Williams at the top of the rankings. This is not bad at all, considering he is the 24th best prospect in the country, but is that really what you expect from LeBron's son? Some fans may argue that Bronny has been complacent. However, with his father's Strive for Greatness slogan, I would argue that this is not the case. It's as simple as he is not there yet. Not even LeBron started his career at the top of the rankings. Gets it to LeBron for three for the win. Yes! LeBron James at the buzzer! At 24th in the rankings, Bronny is eligible for the first round pick at the moment. This, however, is not what fans expect from the living legend's son. 
As they say, adversity builds prospects. Neither of James's two sons nor daughter want to take basketball to the pro level, because like it or not, this would have meant that they would have faced criticism on their way to achieving their dad's legacy. In this case, it's only fair to state that Bronny has added pressure to keep the family's legacy alive. Bronny has, however, not yet decided to go pro, but if he does, he will have to live up to his father's legacy. And failure to that means he would be named as a failure by the unforgiving society. But wait, LeBron's achievements are very hard to achieve, so what awaits James Jr. is even out of my gauze if he wants to outdo his dad. The good news is, even legends argue that if there is one that can break LeBron James's record, it is Bronny James. And try to imagine LeBron with Michael Jordan's advice and guidance 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. He will be a basketball god, I tell you. Bronny might not have a professional body, but he is only 16 and well on his way to achieving this look. Comparing Bronny to his father while he was in high school, Bronny is 6 foot 2 inches tall and 176 pounds, while his dad came in at 6 foot 6 and 200 pounds as a sophomore. This, according to critics, brings a negative analogy about Bronny, saying that he does not match his dad's athleticism. In his competitions, however, Bronny seems to have tackled more challenging competitions. He was playing schools like Sarah Canyon, which is one of the most competitive schools in their county. He's also played against Marikay, which has some NBA prospects of their own. LeBron, at this age, had not been able to play such competitive basketball, mostly because his high school, St. Vincent Mary, wasn't on the map and wasn't even among the top players in his school. Bronny also has some exceptional skills that his dad had not yet mastered at this time and age. Bronny can dunk and make a lot of layouts, a skill his dad hadn't mastered until junior year. LeBron had more bunnies. As a 15-year-old, LeBron was dominating the court. This, however, was mainly because he had yet to meet tougher competitors. I mean, he made everyone look like kids when he was a kid, which is funny, but just imagine as he gets bigger. LeBron was ranked top of his class. As a freshman, what skills Bronny has shown is almost on par with his father. And in my opinion, Bronny even deserves more than a 24th ranking. LeBron wasn't a good dunker, as you may call it, but he was very crafty in the air. With Bronny, however, it's the other way around. In junior and senior year, LeBron was so dominant that he got on at the age of 17. In his sophomore year, he was only gliding in the air. This all changed when he got his bullying abilities. Bronny has not yet started bullying his way up to the net just yet, but he's being crafty and sneaky around his opponents. As a junior, that's good. He's, he's going in deep. Once he gets the ball in that deep, he's automatic. This is what great players do. They take what they want. They go to their strength. Is Bronny better than his dad at the same age in terms of his athleticism? No, yes, okay, decide for yourself. But basically, Bronny is just not bad off, considering that he's a point guard. He has, however, been able to attract one of the biggest names in the music industry to one of his playoff games, and that's gotta be an accomplishment, right? So what do you think? What are your thoughts regarding LeBron James Jr.? Do you think he would live up to his father's reputation? And do you believe he's actually as good as the media makes him look? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on notifications for timely updates of our new uploads. We value your feedback, so feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section. James drives, scoop layup, pass to himself!